I guess in this video we'll try to see problem on projections of two planes. The question is something like this: the pentagonal lamina of 40 mm side has an edge on the HP. So the lamina or the plane is pentagonal shape, means five sides. Each side is 40 mm. The surface of the plane is inclined at 45 degrees to HP and perpendicular to the BP. Draw its projections. So this is your question. Whenever we are discussing anything about the projections of the planes. It will be of three types. One is perpendicular to both the reference planes. The second option is perpendicular to one plane and parallel to one plane. And the third one is perpendicular to one plane and inclined to another plane. So this is the case of this problem which we are going to discuss. Perpendicular to one plane and inclined to another plane. So it is perpendicular to which plane our question is perpendicular to VP and inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to HP. Which means that this 45 degrees inclination will be visible to us in the VP. Whereas this perpendicular to VP concept means uh, the pentagonal lamina that is the uh, pentagonal plane will be looking like a straight line in the VP concept. Okay, so let us come to the AutoCAD screen and draw this thing. First, uh, as usual, we'll open it, then set the limits. Set the limits 0, 0 and 500, 500 in the center. Then check the units if it is perfectly. Mm or not, it is an mm. Okay, good. Then we can press Z and tap, A and tap, which uh, will make our screen to zoom all. Now select a straight line and draw a straight line which should be 0 degrees, that is, press R the one like 200 mm. I'm taking and drawing it. It's not necessary that you should take 200. And this is nothing but your auxiliary plane, or we can say XY line. So this is your XY line. Now the True shape will be obtained in which place? The true shape will be obtained in HP. Reason is the pentagonal lamina of 40 mm side has an edge. Edge is an HP, but it is 45 degrees inclined. But let us say that since there is an edge on the HP, let us throw whole pentagonal lamina on the HP and see from the top view. So therefore, in the top view, we'll be having this 40 mm pentagonal lamina. Uh, after that, we'll incline it with 45 degrees, then we'll get the answer. So, come back to the AutoCAD screen, then this is what I have done. Now, let me draw an edge like this with how much? With uh, 40 mm side. So, this is an edge which is 40 mm side. So, with 40 mm side, I have drawn an edge like this. Then, use polygon option and number of sides is 5 because it is pentagon. Then it will ask press by center of the polygon. Instead of pressing center, you can press edge here. Edge is there in the command option. So press E and press enter. Then it will ask specify first end point. So this is your first end point and this is my second end point. Now I'm uh, whatever the first line what is there, I'm selecting it by using right selection and pressing delete because it don't want that one since it is already drawn. I want if I want you can extend the line like this in this way. This way XY line is. So here I am considering this is all a plane. No? So what are the points will be there for it? What are the points will be there for it? So something like I'll give multi text. I'm giving it. So I'm pressing it. Some five and and this is small a. So I'll select this again. Control C, Control V. I'm doing it. I'm copy pasting it somewhere here. This is your B. Similarly, give it for uh, remaining three points also C, D, E also you can give it. Now, whatever this A, B line is there, I am thinking that line is the, that edge is in uh, horizontal plane. I am thinking that this line is in the horizontal plane or this edge is in the horizontal plane. Let me suppose. After that, whenever this is like this, whatever the uh, top view is like this, then if you project these points to the front view, then automatically we will get the front view, right? So it will be something like this, something like this. There is a projection like that from here to here. Escape in the same way, select these points C and E points and draw projection like this. And also take line command again and A, B projectors, you can take it and you can press it like this. So these are all projector lines. You can try to give separate uh, color for them. I'm giving some yellow color for it. After that, if you draw a straight line here, if you draw a straight line here from here to here, this obtained straight line is nothing but your uh, uh, whatever this uh, front view that is uh, front view of the pentagonal lamina which you have drawn. 
So since this is the friend we obtain, whatever he, here we'll be having two points. What are those points? A dash and B dash. So if I'm if I'm drawing a uh, or if I'm annotating it here with uh, some five I'll give five and uh, this is A and also we have B A comma B. We have two points there A comma B. Here also we have options like you have uh, the, here you are having this point as well as this point that is A B C D E and no so D and E points are there here so if I am using multi text here I will be having here what B and E points are also there here that is B comma E points are there here here and this one becomes P right automatically that becomes a D point this point becomes a, B, C and E, you know, so this is your C and E, this is your C and E, and this point becomes your B point, it is actually D dash, it is actually D dash, because it is in front view, you know, so we call them as dash, so C dash, E dash, and here also it is A dash, and B dash, in this way you go to the points, now, now, uh, the first step is finished. The second step is given that, where is the question? Here is the question. The surface of the plane is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Whenever the inclination is given to, with respect to HP, this inclination will be visible to us in the horizontal plane, that is uh, on the vertical plane, that is basically in the front view. So, this surface is totally inclined at 45 degrees. So, come back to the article. This is all surface, right? This is all surface, right? So this surface is inclined at how much? 45 degrees. So what I will do is this, I am selecting all those things and I am using copy command and I will select this as my base point and keep it somewhere like this here and escape. After that, whatever this is there, whatever this is there, okay before that what do you want thing, you give the points also. Change P type, P T Y P E under center, give separate like this, okay and here is your first point P O enter. This is your first point and here is another point. In this you have two points, one is C and one is C dash and E dash. And you have another point here, one is A dash and B dash. I'll just move it up so that you don't get confused here. So these are all the points obtained here. Now what we'll do is that we'll select all these points which are obtained here like this by using right selection. Then use copy command and with this as base point I'm moving it somewhere like this. So this is nothing but your surface, right? Whatever this line is there, it is surface. Now I want to tilt the surface with 45 degrees. So I will select all these things by using rotate command with this as center. I am rotating with 45 degrees. 45 degrees. So now the tilting is also done. Once this is done, what you can do? We can project the lines. I can project the lines in the bottom side like this. So while you are projecting only, you can draw up to the required point. Like how can you do this? We can drag it downward like this. And we can move until this point now. So since this is D, from D to here we can go. When I am keeping that there without pressing it and I am moving it like this, the intersection point will be automatically highlighted here for me like this in this way. A dotted line comes and it will be highlighted directly. So that is the exact point where it will be there. Or else you can you can go in another way also. That is something like you can extend up to this point like this and we can draw the straight lines from the this side. That is also an easy method. So here also I can drag it like this. Wait, one one mistake we have done here. You can see the point is not correctly correctly attached here. So this is wrong. So P O enter. So this is your perfect point. So you have to give the point perfectly. So here also the point is not obtained correctly. So delete it and give P O enter. Give the point perfectly here. So you you you, you can see whenever we are doing any mistake, it is easily identified here. Now here also line command from here draw it to the bottom line in this way and finish it. Once this is finished, you can give these three lines separate color. That is nothing but yellow color that I have given in the previous case. Here also I am giving the same thing. Now from uh, from D dash, this is the D dash point. Whatever the line is coming, it should be intersected with the D point. So from D line, I am drawing a straight line like this. So this is the point where the intersection point is. Similarly from C dash and E dash also I will draw the intersecting points. 
so you can see these are all the intersecting parts so i'll draw another line from here to here intersecting lines similarly a dash b dash points also can be highlighted so select the line select the line this line is also so whatever the lines i am drawing these are all the projector lines so we you can give these all yellow color only so this this these are all the yellow color lines only which are selected now. i'm selecting those all and giving yellow color lines these are all nothing but your uh, projector lines only okay now <coughs> whatever the points are obtained you can highlight them p1 and, and this is your first point similarly this is your uh, second point similarly this is your third point this is your fourth point and this is your fifth point we can join these all by using line command like this you can join all these by using line command like this so now whatever it is obtained is a final option automatically these names also will be the same thing so here we have a here we have b don't think that we should give a1 dash b1 dash it is simply a dash b dash and a, a b only okay. simple so a b these are all cde here also cde give them names so if you want you can even highlight them something like this so i'll select what are the important points as well i'll select all these things and i'll give some separate color these are all the important points this is the final thing which you want i mean i can change the size also i can give some i'm giving some 40 oh 80 okay. let us give some 40 but for it to be displayed i have to press line width display so this is obtained so this is the final output which is obtained that is the final question he is asking us this is the final question. you can see this is the final answer which is asked in the question but the annotations are not done now still now so what are these things to be done first thing here we have to give this is an x and y x y line should be denoted so this is your x and since this is your x this one becomes your y line so this is your y line y option so this is your auxiliary pen x y and this is your first thing the green color is the first thing i'll do one thing i'll give the separate color green color whatever these are all there this is all green color is the first basic thing after that uh, what, when i am tilting it all then i have obtained the uh, tilted and rotated once it is tilted and rotated whatever the obtained thing is there that is the final output so the red color one is the final output so i'll write the information in the bottom so in that word that would also be replaced but uh, annotation should be done that is something like you have to give the information regarding the uh, pentagon so this is the pentagon information which i give 40 is given also i know another information that is angular information this is angular information known to me so that angular information is also shown this is 40 once these two are shown automatically the diagram is so with this projections of the planes this question is finished so the projections are perfect